If I'm catfishing, then okay. Row. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Beauty Monday. So for today's video, I'm doing a get ready with me featuring this look right here. It is my go-to spring look or just my go-to look in general right now. I rocks with it heavy. You guys have seen it on my channel numerous times now. But before we get into all that, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Now go ahead and grab your tools and your makeup and let's go ahead and get into this look. Okay, so first things first, we already did our eyebrows, we already primed our eyes, but now we need to prime this face. So um, I got the Porefessional Pore, what is it? Porefessional Pore Primer. So I'm gonna put some on my finger. You're gonna hit these little pore spots because you know your girl got some hello, how you doings going on. And I'm gonna rub that all in, especially around my nose and my mouth area because yeah. They be a problem. Now the next step is either or. All right, so sometimes I do my eyes first and the other times I do my face first. Today I'm gonna to do my eyes first. I'm gonna go in with um, my, it's my Ray Ray BH Cosmetics palette. Um, you guys know my round two. The round two one is my favorite right now. I'm using this top row here. We're gonna go in with a mixture of bark and cacao, okay? And we're gonna pat that right above my crease and then blend that like a windshield wiper. Wipey wipe wipe, okay? It's kind of like in the crease, but then not in the crease, so I say above. Above, beyond, below, whatever. <laughs> okay? It's like it's about to start raining, y'all. I don't know what's going on with this Texas weather. It was sunny all day today. Perfect weather. Took the kids outside and everything, and now it wants to get all gloomy. Like, get it together, Texas. All right, then we're gonna go in with another brush. I'm gonna use the color Brick. So pigmented. I'm gonna bring that a little bit into and below my crease and then down my eyelid, okay? Down onto my eyelid. This is like my everyday go-to eye, you guys. Even if I do a different color, um, like the purple you saw, the blue you saw, I use these same techniques to do my eyes. The way these kids are set up, their attention span for mommy doing makeup is slim to none. So I gotta try to, <laughs> I be trying to hurry up. So this is like my go-to that gives me the nicest results in the quickest time. Now I'm gonna go back in with another brush and we use Kcal, which is that dark brown shade. And I'm going to pack that in my outer V area and then bring it into my crease. All right, next we're gonna go in with some shimmer. All right, so we're gonna go in first with Shining, which is the gold shimmer. That's what that looks like. And we're gonna put it right here in the center of my eye. Uh, this works best with fingers, so that's why I use my finger. And then we're gonna go in with Top Notch and put it on top of there. And then to make sure we're good, we're just gonna go back in with that Kcal brush and blend out those edges just a bit. Why? My eyebrows are uneven. <laughs> Why is my brow all the way over here? Let me fix that, because that is embarrassing. I mean, that looks a little better. We'll, we'll fix it at the end, we'll fix it at the end. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is in carbon black. Um, so I'm gonna be using my Sugar Cokes Beauty Lashes. This is in a style of cocoa. They're not too glamorous, but they're not too understated either. Then we're gonna go in with our under eye because we can't leave that blank. Sometimes I do, today I'm not. Just brick it up right up under there. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with Bark right on the outside with this little flatty flat brush, okay? Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Maven Foundation. I'm gonna be mixing D50 and D10. This is what that looks like. D50 is my normal shade, however, it's a little bit darker um, than I want it to be, so I was gonna mix those two together. About two pumps of the D50 and about one and a half of the um, D10. Sometimes I'll color correct under my foundation. Today I didn't do that. I absolutely love this foundation because it just blends down like real skin. So next I go on my concealer, so I do corrections first and then I go on with the highlighting. So to correct, I use my Fenty Beauty 390 shade. Just a little bit right there. So it's gonna let that sit for a bit. And we're gonna blend that out, okay? 
And then I go in with my highlight. So I do a mixture of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the color Warm Caramel as well as the shade Light in the ELF HD Lifting Concealer. NYX is the thickness that I want and then the Lifting Concealer by ELF is like the, the brightening effect that I want. Light taps. If I tap, well, I know when I would tap too hard, blending this out, it pushes deep into like the crease of my eye and it just kind of like, it was pointless. <laughs> All right, now for some powder. Now I have been using my Fenty Beauty setting powder um, and the color banana, but it's like a touch and go thing. Some days I really like it, other days I'm just kind of like, Ugh. like it's not giving me the effect that I want. Today I'm gonna try her again. All right, so I'm gonna put some on my little, on my spongy sponge here, and we're gonna tap her in, okay? We're we gonna tap her in. I definitely love how this powder smells, y'all. Like, it just smells amazing. I am gonna bake my under eye for a bit, just because I like the way it looks after I bake it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but see how, like, I love doing my face makeup after my eyes because I like to see how my, you know, my makeup comes together. When I, sometimes when I be doing my eye makeup, I be like, this look like some trash. But then as soon as I put that face on, I be like, oh, she's a, she good, she good, all right? So that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this contour. Now, I have not been using any pow any cream contour. I've been using powder only. Where is the brush I want to use? There we go. Going with my contour from the Black Radiance. Uh, contour palette, mixture of contour and sculpt, just to bring some structure back into this face. Like y'all, I be feeling like I be catfishing people. <laughs> so sick of all these daggone memes coming out talking about something we be catfishing people. Like, oh, we catfishing people because we wear a bunch of makeup and we don't look like that and when we uh, go to bed at night. Why would I? Why would I? If I'm catfishing, then okay, round. <laughs> This is still me. Makeup on, still me. Makeup off, guess what? Still me. Let's put some powder up under here because mama been enjoying herself all week with bad food options and it's going right to my double chin down here. So what are you doing? What do you have in your mouth? What is that? Your toy? Okay. Where my, where my blush? That's not blush. There we go, there's blush. Black Radiance again with um, some powder blush here. This is in Toasted Almond. She's so almondy. Okay, I'm gonna use that little stipple brush. I'm just gonna put that, put that right up in there. I feel like Bob Ross when I feel, when I use his stipple brush. Cause you know he be painting on the trees and he be <laughs> Maybe there's a happy little tree that's right there. <laughs> that's what I feel like. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, Google him. All right, he used to do all them daggone paintings. I'd be like, how are you making that tree like that? My tree ain't come out like that, like that. Next up, we're gonna take off this, um, what you call it? What's the stuff called in my face? The setting powder. Gonna brush that away as much as we can. And then we're gonna go in with our pressed powder in the color Mocha. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Going with my second setting brush. Not the same one from earlier, but it's another one. And we gonna tap and swipe. Tap and swipe. It's not tender, but my under eye is tender, so let me be careful, okay? Cause I like to have a highlighted under eye, but not like too much. I'm not one of those people. This little natural under eye highlight is what I go for. All right, now let's spray her down. Mm, it's like crap. Now for some highlight, we're gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss. Um, this is an oldie but a goodie. You can see it's obviously broken. Snap, snap. Um, but yeah, this is in the color Peach Kiss. That's what she looks like. Uh, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques. Um, is this a highlighting brush? It's a fan brush. So it's not called a highlighting brush, but it's a fan brush. But we're gonna use that. We're gonna put that right up on there. Pop that on both cheeks. Did I turn my mic on? Oh my goodness, I turned my mic on, y'all. I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, it's on. Look at that. Ooh! Shining, shining. Ooh, she shines. Shine, shine, shine. We're gonna take the excess and put it on the tip of my nose. Ooh, she beaming. Hey, Rudolph. I don't know what that brush is. Now, my brushes are normally in a certain order. Oh, there she is. Um, but my kids be playing in my brushes, especially my little girl, Emery. She be taking my brushes out and trying to put on makeup. I'd be like, oh, little girl, get back. Not yet, too soon, okay, too soon. So we're gonna pop that just like that. Just like that, just like that. And we're gonna bring it down the center. 
Okay, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. And we're gonna pop some in my inner corner. Okay, now some of my color is gone from my under eye and that's fine because I didn't put a whole lot. So let's go back in and fix that. So I'm going with bark first and get that all squared away. Ooh, she cute. Then we're going with brick towards the center. Okay, wipe that brush off. I'm gonna go in with K-Cow right on the outside. Just, just a tad, just a tad. Just a touch of love. A little bit, spend some time. Just a little bit. All right, now I think, are we done? Emery, get out of my brushes, mama. Put my brush down. Put my brush down. Finish up the brows really quick. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel in the color Dark Brown. And because I don't know how to fill my brows in yet using just this, that's why I do my Revlon pencil first and then I go on top with this. Cause my y'all see my brows, they, they scary looking by themselves. So when I tried to fill these bad boys in just with this gel, I was mortified. <laughs> it's gonna brush them up, brush them up. All right, and now to finish this off, Cause I think she ready, I think she ready for some lippies. I've been going with my favorite lippy at the moment. You already know what it is, so go ahead and drop it down below if you know. Mmm, yeah, sweetheart. She went from Cameron Diaz to Jay-Z. <laughs> Sweetie, oh, she got a pretty mouth. All right, now it's time for some wig action. So I got June here, hey June. Where my brush? My brush all the way back there. Who was messing with my dang brush? I'm okay, I got my brush. Right, we are gonna pop that on her head, baby. My brush keep falling. I'm gonna put a little bit, a teensy bit of powder in my parting space. How does brush keep, why does brush keep falling on the floor? Who in here? Okay, and there we go, y'all. My simple everyday, or every filming. <laughs> I feel like Joanne the scammer, baby. <laughs> Yes, who am I scamming today? My simple look, my simple, gorgeous, spring ready look. I will list all the products that I use down below, so in case you wanna get the products and try it out for yourself and follow along, you can go ahead and do that. Um, or use your own products and then you know follow along. Do whatever floats your boat, okay? Um, but I think it came out cute. I would love to see you guys' looks and share them in the next Beauty Monday, so make sure you send them down below to my email. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you also comment, subscribe, and share this video. Make Make sure you also hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.